In order to download and install Eclipse 2024-09 version, we can just search in Google Download Eclipse. You can open the first link that appears, which is from www.eclipse.org downloads. If I scroll down, I have this option to download this ID, but instead of clicking on this download x86 underscore 64, I would suggest you to click on download packages. And here on the top, you can see there is this navigation details or this breadcrumb. Click on this release. So it's always better to come here and check the available versions and download the specific one you need. As I'm going to download 2024-09, let me click on this. Here we have few variations, Eclipse ID for Enterprise Java and Web Developers, Eclipse ID for Java Developers. Let me proceed with the first one which I generally use. Click on this Windows x86 underscore 64. Now you can click on Download. Download started. Download finished also. I want to extract this Eclipse zip file into a specific directory where I keep all the softwares generally. This is my folder, all underscore software. You can also follow a similar pattern. Let me paste it over here. Going to extract it, right click. Show more options. I have 7-zip. Extract here. This is the Eclipse folder. This is the Eclipse.exe. I want one icon. Click on show more options. Send to desktop. Going back to desktop. This is my Eclipse icon, double clicking on this. Now, initially Eclipse ID will ask for a specific workspace. I have this folder which I am going to use as workspace, just copying its name and providing it over there. I have pasted the location of that folder over here, click on launch. The ID has opened with its welcome screen, maximizing this, closing the welcome screen. So just after installation, it is asking me to exclude it from the scanning done by Microsoft Defender. I'm selecting this. Click on proceed. And there would be one PowerShell script executed in the background. We are done with that. We have downloaded and installed Eclipse. I just want to create a very small project quickly and run it just to see things are working fine. Prior to that, I want to show one important part over here. Go to Window, Preferences. And here, expand this Java section. Select this Install JRE. If you notice over here, by default, Eclipse comes with this JRE bundled with it. My own JDK, JDK 17, installed, placed in a particular location. So in case you want to use your own JDK, which is the general practice rather than using the bundled JDK that comes with JRE, you can select this one and exclude the bundled JRE. It depends on your requirement. I'm just selecting it back to the bundled JRE, clicking on cancel. Let me just create a very simple project, file, new, click on project, Java project, Next, providing a project name. We can see over here, this is the JRE that is provided. I don't want this module info. I'm checking this. Next, click on finish. It's asking whether I want to open the associated perspective. Click on open perspective. Expanding this. Let me create one class. I can create a class from here or I can directly press Ctrl N, select this class, press enter to press next. Let me provide a name over here, test. By default, this package is sample project, keeping it as is. I want to generate a main, click finish. See south, Ctrl space, hello Eclipse, right click, run as Java application. I can see the output over here, hello Eclipse. You can see the program has run successfully. So our Eclipse installation or rather I would say setup is successful.